Hey I'm Andy, this is The Outer Worlds, and I don't really know much about this game, all I know is that it was made by Obsidian, and they've made some really good games in the past, like Fallout New Vegas and Pillars of Eternity, so, I, I'm pretty, I, I mean, based on the stuff I saw on the page, it's like a first person, much like, it's like Fallout New Vegas basically, but set in outer space, but, uh, so let's just dive right into this, let's do so the story, use this mode if you enjoy story more than combat. In story mode, enemies have less than no, normal. This is a recommended mode for your first play session. In normal mode, enemies have standard health and damage. This mode is for players who are looking for an extra challenge. In hard mode, enemies have more health and do more damage. Supernova. Supernova mode is the hardest difficulty and can only be selected at the start of the game and is recommended for it. So I guess you can switch between any of these in the middle of the game based on how Supernova is worded. And adds additional challenges to the game. If you reduce the difficulty below Supernova, you cannot re-enable it. Enemies have more health and deal more damage. You must eat, drink, and sleep. So it's kind of like uh, Skyrim, or, or I mean, Minecraft in a sense where you have to eat to and get a, like a full hunger to fill up your hunger bar to gain health and stuff like that. Companions can die permanently. Crippled bodies and limb conditions can only be healed with a bed rest. Your weapons and armor work very poorly at zero durability. So this is like realism mode. You can only fast travel to your ship, you can only sleep inside your ship, you can only manually save while inside your ship, and auto saves are limited. Wow. Let's just do normal. Uh, I, I don't, I haven't uh, the slightest idea of how hard this game is, or how long this game is. I know there was a speedrun done that was done in like a really short amount of time, but uh, yeah, I, other than that, let's just do. Yeah, let's just chill. Halcyon. Oh, that was fast. Why stay earthbound when prosperity right. awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. <laughs> A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become a, a minor of your term of destiny. service. When you go out of this world to the Halcyon this, is, this, this is really giving me follow pipes. All right, determination. Hope to be left at edge of colony. Breach of hope security corridor on a unidentified ship. I also don't know who I'm playing as, so I'm, I'm assuming this cinematic will tell me. I think it's open already. <laughs> oh, no, it wasn't open all the way. Alright, Phineas Vernon Wells, Fugitive Wanted by Halcyon Foldings. This game looks nice too. I mean, obviously, it, it came out recently at the Hundreds time of this recording. Of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever, just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. I assume my player is one of those people. Oh, I get to I get to select. Uh, I, I, I don't know what's like if there's like a meta or anything. But apparently I have six attribute points remaining, and then we have strength, dexterity, intelligence, perception, charm, and temperament. So we, can we? Okay, so we High can. blood pressure could keep you from blacking out at least. <laughs> so we can actually go below average and get. I guess below average is the lowest we can get. So we do get penalties. No passive health. Okay. I do like my health regeneration. So I guess the temperament. Will cool only be not we can only put up frozen. to very high. And then this charm, what's the penalty? Described as odious and boring. Reputation gains are reduced. So then we can actually do. Um, this is all about, uh, aside from the affected skills, this is more about the the reputation, I guess. Perception. Oh dear. Your corrective lenses need corrective lenses. 
Headshot and weak, weak spot hits do not inflict extra damage if it's below average. And this is you bonus to headshot and weak spot damage. People. Intelligence. You're a few stars short of a constellation. I kind of want to do below average intelligence just because of the dumb dialogue options unlocked. Uh, critical hit damage is also drastically reduced. As you can see, minus uh, it goes down to 20%. Or minus 20%, actually. You took a few blows to the brain pan. Dexterity. Uh, no, more, you get more oh, critical damage. Your test scores were better than mine. The dexterity Almost. you get. Weapon durability loss is increased. That's bad. And then this will just increase the attack and reload speed and strength. Let's just hope you're handy with a gun. Tactical time dilation drain for movement is doubled. But I kind of want to get more strength just because of Ooh, the... They must have been feeding you Spacer's choice rations. <laughs> I kind of want to get the carrying capacity, no but I don't want to get it to atrophy. like very high. Splendid. Maybe just... One? I mean, I do get six points to, to, to put in, so let's do be a charmer, a dumb charmer, maybe. You took a few blows to the brain pan. I kind of want to try this. <laughs> it, it might, it might uh, bite me in the butt, but uh, I kind of want to try that. So let's do... Pump up dexterity. It's like, I don't know how many times I c if there's abilities in the game that will uh, permanently increase my attributes. So I kind of don't want to make it the best. Let's do let's do two for strength just to be able to carry stuff. So we get less critical, but then if we can counteract it with bonus extra headshot weak spot damage. Hmm. So we have three points left. We can do this one. So then, I I, cause I don't know if the twenty percent of this will counteract uh, tw negative twenty percent critical damage. But I'm I mean I'm assuming the headshot weak spot damage is completely different than critical damage. But uh, I don't know. Um, we have one point. We can just put it in temperament. I could, I could just go for like a brawler, because, hmm, do I really want to do this? This might, this might turn out poorly, but, oh well, uh, I'm committing, uh, next. Alright, so we have skills, we can put in two, uh, melee weapon skill, one-handed and two-handed, handguns, and they're, whatever. Then we got defense, we got dodge, dodge distance, okay. And then plus three armor rating when using a melee weapon, ooh. So I could be like a melee brawler. Uh, we can do persuade, although our intelligence is kind of harming us from getting that. Let's, do we have a lie? No, we can't. Intimidate. We have stealth, we can't hack because of, the, like, we get the, uh, that the downside for the intelligence so we also can't do like medical and i mean we can but it'll be a smarter thing to do other things if that makes any sense so let's just do we can do blah our defense You're going oh to so be it adds to it adds like that i see lack of so we can do i hope we haven't lost that silver tongue to frostbite so we can do this, because Intimidate is, seems nice, but, or we can do Stealth, like, it, does, it doesn't really affect Sneak and Lockpick much, but it does affect a hack. You can also do Leadership, Inspiration, but not as much Determination. So more Companion Health seems nice. Companion, oh, yeah, I'm going to do a that. A Rabble Rouser, perfect. The colony's full of Rabble. Or we can repair weapons and armor in the inventory. Ooh. Although it's really kind of 10% invalid. Hmm. Or maybe we should do tech. Tech seems good. 
Or maybe we should just do melee. Unlock power and sweep attacks. Hmm. Although heavy weapons is kind of, I don't know. They, these all seem kind of good. Uh, let's see. Doors and containers requiring one mag pick to unlock are free to open. I don't know how common mag picks are in the game. Let's just go with melee. A hey, pugilist. How exciting. All right. Then we get oh, there's a like yeah, this is this is like Fallout and all that all this all the Bethesda games but more or less as you start out. No discernible aptitude. Uh, determination, drink effect, duration, bureau cat, cashier, subgrade, not supervisory. Uh, construction, electric, electrician class, wire spooler, elevator operation specialist, factory worker, conveyor operator, you get a bonus of dodge, a, farm, a dirt farmer, N ray damage, I don't know what N rays are, food additive tester. Uh, janitor sanitation class, toss ball team mats mascot, medical technician junior grade, uh, safety inspector, scientist assistant level zero class A, and sub sous chef. Can do that. We can do a bureaucrat. Yeah, the, I think the bureaucrat will be funny. Bureaucrat, eh? You'll have plenty of company. All right, let's do normal stuff. There's a lot of options. Yeah, I'll do a jump cut man show at uh, the summary. All right, so this is the summary. I kind of picked whatever for the looks uh, with the green hair, obviously, because of my uh, logo, and named her Trish. So we got two to strength, one to dexterity, minus one to intelligence, two to perception, one to charm, and one to temperament. So. I don't know how this is going to work out, but we'll see. And I also chose Bureaucrat to get the additional block. And uh, you can and you can see the all my skills and the points to that. So we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. It would be interesting if there was like ship combat, but I don't think this is that type of game. Initiate skip jump. This is more of the land on the planets and explore type of game, I assume. Terra 2, orbiting laboratory, Halcyon system. Status, structural integrity down 25%. Power levels down <sighs> Shit. Oh, I guess I I awoken somewhere. Ah, <laughs> there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years. Jeez. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. <laughs> Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction. Special concoction, huh? To keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. Oh, if you're gonna I guilt me. I see myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. 
Good luck. Outs from stopping me to turning you in. <laughs> I guess being in a in a container like that will. Sixtieth anniversary of the hope's disappearance, huh? Thing working. Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. Oh, I've also really? I've outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm uh, all the colonists are counting on you. <laughs> Why would I want to skip this? Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law? This is really colorful. Is that him? Oh, that idiot. <laughs> I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Well... Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Well, that's, uh... Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not that sure is... I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. That must have hurt. <laughs> Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Alright, the sensitivity seems fun. This is really colorful. Oh, there's animals. What is that? It's a sprat. Okay. Just explore. No, oh, that's kind of really one way to go. <laughs> Alright, so it's a toggle. Left shift to sprint. Alright. It is basically like, this is basically the, the tutorial. <laughs> Left control, crouch or sneak. Adreno. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, or other cover to hide from enemies. Use this to sneak past enemies and sneak up, or sneak up time to initiate combat. All right, so you can you can play this game stealthily, but I, I'm not sure uh, it's meant. To, I mean, I, I assume it's like one way. I'm sure there's like multiple ways of doing like stuff. There's not just one way. The orders meters over enemies tell you how, if they are unaware, suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Alright, so they can't see me. I assume I don't want them to see me. Can't pick that up. Oh no, what's happening? Easy now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. Oh, side effects, huh? Is it from that special concoction? I'm gonna take fall damage, aren't I? Yep. You have low health. Use the emergency medical inhaler to heal. Each activation consumes one Adreno. Okay. Oh, there's someone there. Hey, you. 
Come here. Chair or stools. You've tried the best now. <sighs> now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stinks. Who are you? <laughs> I can pat you up. I can try to pat you up. <sighs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Uh, how are you feeling? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own. Or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, <laughs> what are the odds of that, right? Uh-huh. Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Uh, let's see, you're hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit, you're good as dead. How are you doing out here? What's this? What are you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing Oh. Flights. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to yeah, attract marauders. Yeah, about that. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here. And I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Let's see. Persuade, lie, intimidate. Someone try. Ah. Give me the gun before you get yourself. Okay. okay. Let's do persuasion. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber Ooh, too. Ooh, saber. For patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's So choice. there's a chance to malfunction? Yeah, the for the weapons to malfunction? Uh, let's see. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo Auntie or Cleo? Who's that? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. <laughs> Company policy. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. Spacer's, Spacer's Choice, Choice Community. Community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Salt tuna. I hope that's not just salt water tuna. <laughs> Alright. Thought, I thought he said I had a saber too. A TNL weapon safety warning or training weapon management. You can have up to four weapons equipped at a time by dragging them into the slots on the top of the screen. On this page, you can also inspect your weapons, compare them, flag them as junk, or break them down for parts. Players with the engineering skill can repair weapons on the screen as well. So I do have a saber, so let's just put that there. Alright. I could use the saber and knock this out. Like, why, why can't I just uh, push these off? Roll them off to the side? Maybe? Well, let's just, uh... Go boom. Ooh, there's some stuff here. Can I take these? Oh, those are mag picks, okay? So I guess they're kind of common. I mean, this, this is gonna happen in, in all these types of games I play, like Fallout or Skyrim, where I just pick up everything. Pick up everything that I can, because you never know, they could be useful later, and I'm not sure if this person is gonna need it. So, I'm gonna try and pick up everything I can. If I can't, then I can't. Yeah, I guess in like in like Skyrim or Fallout, you can also pick up these, but oh well. I guess in here you can't. Can I shoot the? No, don't run away. Oh, I got 10 XP for that. Sprat hide the skin of an entire adult sprat. Do you know that sprats are found on every human colony world? Did you care? I mean, I cared enough to read it, so... Alright, let's continue on. What's happening again? 
tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Pressing the time, tactical time dilation (TDD) TTD button slows down the world, giving you time to think. So it's like bullet time, huh? You have a limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving and attacks drain it faster. It refreshes slowly over time. Okay, button is Q. All right. Let's try this. So there's two enemies. Alright, let's get that. Well, that wasn't too bad. Uh, apparently I didn't notice that I only have a small, or I guess I had a full bar of the, the time dilation uh, just gets consumed really fast. Uh, I did take my time. Hand picking and picking locks. Your hacking and lockpick skills help you get into places you're not meant to be. Magpicks are used to break open locks and bypass shunts are used to break computer encryptions. If your skill is high enough to break the security, you will see how many magpicks or shunts you need and how long it will take. Raising your skill will lower the number of items you used and speed up the process. I probably should have. So this requires three, but we will have three. Okay. Just pick up all the things first. I mean, I did increase my strength for this. This uh, very same reason. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> Walking in fire hurts. Alright, pick three seconds. So, it, it's not of a... It's not like uh, Skyrim where you have to rotate a lock, but you just need to have the required amount of picks and just hold for three seconds. Okay. So we got that. Let's have this. 73. Uh, I guess they're the same thing. I can sell it. I can do whatever. So this is a two-handed weapon. Okay. Use these controls to attack and block. Most melee weapons can perform three swing combos. All melee weapons can block. Okay. Seems interesting. Oh, so... Let's see, so these are the ammo. Armor management. Drag or... Drag armor and or helmet items up to the equipment slots to wear them. You can also manage your armor here. Okay, so we just have our basic armor. Consumable. This is where I got a lot of stuff. Here you can use junk or drop your consumables. They can be used directly to gain a variety of boosts. Your emergency medical inhaler is shown at the top of the screen. It uses Adreno as fuel to heal you in emergency and always keeps you... It keeps it inloaded into slot one. Okay. I have a lot. Got a lot of information to take in. So I got that. Oh, Codex. That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. I could go back and try and get the the two monsters that I okay. Apparently, there's a kill cam. <laughs> the two monsters that I tried to avoid, or maybe no, because I I fell down a long. There was a long drop. So I don't think I can get back up there. Alright. Oh, that was that was a thing. So let's just keep moving on forward, I guess. And then use tall grass to hide. If there are things to hide. Marauder Vandal. Marauder Vandal. Use uh, this and then the time dilation. And I wonder if there's like stealth takedowns.
Jeez, that's that was that was crazy. I like this weapon. <laughs> Oh no, I think... Something there. Oh, I don't know if they saw me or not. Let's use time. Eh, yeah, you saw nothing. <laughs> Alright, I think the third one's coming around though. Marauder Goon. So how much can I carry? I can carry... Oh, apparently I'm only carrying 18 out of 120, so I, I still have a, a long ways to go before I max that out. Right. Well, I'm liking this game so far. There's a lot of detail to this. Oh. So if it's just that one... Yeah, if it's just this one, I'm just gonna ding. <laughs> All right, that wasn't too bad. Too bad we can't like cut. Ooh, that's pretty. Uh, too bad we can't like chop this down and get uh, material from it. That'll be that'll be interesting. Although that'll be kind of be like too much to take in at the very beginning, probably. I don't know. Can't be on full on Minecraft mode. <laughs> Alright, there's some more goons. Or vandals. Private Kimball. I assume they're friendly because they don't have a red thing above their heads. Hey, this is really pretty. Oh, there's one up there. I think. I don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts. Yeah, I, I kind of figured. Landing violators. Call on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official <laughs> spacer's choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. It's just a landing violation. Let it go. Let it go. All right. Uh, not one of your teammates hold up in a cave. Really? How is he? Uh, still a moron. I'm hoping you're a bit a little brighter. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the Maybe most trusted brand the truth. in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Mm -hmm. Stretch my legs. Sure. Son. Let's see... Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. I bet you can get these marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. Uh, do space guards back down from a challenge? Persuade. Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full <laughs> report. And it's gonna be Fucking laminated. laminated. Here we go. I could help. You, All right, I leveled up. Yay. Congratulations, you gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Maybe after I... Oh, Kimball didn't make it. Oh, no no one, no one made it. Uh, would it be possible if... Uh, maybe if I went there myself, uh, they would have made it. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that was too much, too much to ask. So 
So we can't, I mean, we're supposed to go on the ship, but I kind of want to explore this area first. We also got a lot of stuff. So we got this as helmet armor. Let's see, more, this, this gives us stealth, but it's not as, oh, I guess, uh, like this, this gives more armor. I thought this was like armored, like uh, medium or heavy armor for some reason. All right, this seems fine. So let's uh, do skill improvements. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skills in that group to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read your skill descriptions to see how they are, okay? Let's see. No, I don't want to do that. Revert, revert. So we're gonna do melee. I kind of want to get lockpick out. Just uh, it requires one mag. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know it was gonna take multiple to open one thing. So let's put some in stealth. Enough to get twenty, I guess. So there are six points left. Can do that. Make this halfway to competent, and then we have two, which we can put in guns, I guess, maybe or defense. Defense is good. That good defense is a good offense, right? All right, I think that's fine. Melee power attacks. By holding the attack button, you can charge up an overhead power attack that inflicts. In that inflicts significant extra damage. Okay, we also have perks. We have perks every two levels, okay. So we have 50% base health, which is good, if I want to be like a melee brawler. 25% tactical di time dilation meter max. 25% damage when alone in party. Walk speed, sprint speed, weapon durability loss. Companion crit chance, vendor, ooh. That seems good. Uh, although the experience seems kind of good too. I don't know. I don't know what the max level is. Um, unlock the ability to fast travel when encumbered. Or we can get a more carrying capacity. Let's see. Base armor rating, which adds to any armor you wear. Like, half of these are pretty good. Like, the vendor prices. I mean, we, I'm at 25 out of 120, so I don't think I'm going to need this right now. Although I feel like I'm going to need this later down the road. Let's do... And I don't know when I'm going to meet the first vendor, so... I do like the sprint speed. Sprint speed seems good. You're not... They're not slow, you're just fast. Also the armory. Now let's do the vendor prices. And apply. Alright, that seems good. Too bad we can't uh, use these mushrooms. So, so this is actually a... Wow, this is a large area. So actually, I think I came from... Do I even have a stamina bar? I don't know if I have a stamina bar. So I came from over there, which meant I came from like right here. So that means there's like all this to explore. Although, should I explore? Is that's the should I explore all that? That's the question. I should try and explore this little area down here, though, because I'm, I'm basically I'm right here. Old wreckage, primal brute. I don't know if I should tackle the brute. I also have a light assault rifle. Might as well. 180 DPS. Let's try it. Let's try it on this brute. Although I don't, I don't have the ammo for it. Let's try using the weapon. That, oh no, 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 no! There's more. Oh, I don't like this.
Oh, I'm back in the corner. Oh, that was, that was a mistake. I probably shouldn't have done the melee. I probably shouldn't have done the melee. No, good thing it saved right before I got to that point. But I mean, it worked. I just got backed into backed up into a corner. Right. Oh, you you tunneled yourself. All right, one down. I can do this. I hope I can do this. All right. Oh, that's. I have to worry about this one. Okay. <laughs> that, I mean, I probably, if I played it smart, I probably could have done it in the first go around, but... Oh well, it is what it is. We survived it. That's all that matters. So there has to be something good here, right? Oh, there's one more. Seems like there's one more, at least. Sawed off shotgun, ooh. Ow, that knocked me back. Oh no, this isn't good. This isn't good, run away. <laughs> Who are you? You're right here. No, no you're not. You're right here. I am using a lot of medkits. So I have six left apparently. <laughs> Good thing I didn't die. Alright, so what do we have here? Nothing in the bin. Heavy ammo. Adrena time. So we still we still have five. We're carrying a lot of stuff. I wanna see, I wanna see how much after I see if there's if this is all I can get from this area. Oh, there's something here. I don't know if ammo... I don't know if ammo is going to contribute to the weight. It's, it seems like it is, but I, I'm not, not certain. A hunter kit. What's that? Item repair. Keeping your company gear in tip-top shape is expected, and something you're carrying needs repair. Here to repair armors at a workbench. Using weapon arm armor parts, get them from breaking down unwanted items. So we can all break all this down. The saber's all the same. Yes. It's it also saves a lot of weight too. Although these I'm not sure. Sawed off shotgun, assault rifle. Seems like a good 215 DPS seems good. A trip blade is a 200 melee, less than the staff. And did we get anything else? We got consumables, but other than that, we also got a hunter kit. Armor mod, skill kit, increases your ranged weapon skills. Okay, that's something. So we need a workbench. I don't really know... Oh, we can't eat that? No. I don't know what the workbench in this game looks like yet. Oh, no, I wanted to pick this up. Alright, so we don't need to sleep just yet. And I, I have a feeling if I sleep there, 
there's going to be more that are going to spawn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this here and I'll enter the ship and... Uh, so I'm definitely not going on that side yet. I feel I'm going to get overpowered. Just based on what happened over here. So, yeah, this has been Outer Worlds. It seems really interesting. And so far, it looks really pretty. And, um, yeah. So, until next time... Uh, hopefully, we'll fly to different worlds, maybe. I'm assuming that's what will happen when we take the ship, but... Yeah, until next time, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.